guys, welcome to What's in the Box with Jen. Super exciting episode because today we are going to be unboxing a Xiaomi Mi Air Purifier 3H. That's what we've got here today. Pretty big box, but I'm super excited. So we're going to be using this as our everyday air purifier in certain spaces such as our living area, kitchen and bedroom. At the moment, Australia is under a pandemic, I guess so is the rest of the world, but we've been under lockdown for a couple of months now. So we thought that it might be a good idea to get an air purifier just to suck up any of those particles that might be in the air just as an extra layer of protection. A couple of features that we're going to run over before we open up the box. So this air purifier has a range of different settings. So it can give you a high setting, a low setting or a medium setting. It also has a night mode and an auto mode. So you can have a play with those and I guess just pop it on the setting that you feel is appropriate for the space that you have it in. Okay, so I think that auto mode would be really good cause it can have it on that lower setting when it's not really necessary to have it on that higher setting only when it is necessary to. Okay, it's also got an OLED touch display which you can use to change it through the different settings. However, this product is actually compatible with Alexa and Google Home as well. So you can use voice prompts or you can use the Mi Home app on your phone to change those settings as well, which is really cool. So on that note, we're gonna open her up. So we're going to turn it around and we're going to open her up and we're going to have a look at what's inside. So inside on the back panel, you've actually got some instructions of filter replacement. So apparently on the app, it's going to tell you the capacity of your filter replacement. So it's almost like a battery charger um, display and it's going to say it will be at 100% or 90% or 50% so that you will know when you need to change your filter. So that's a feature that I really think is important because so many of us, will, we're not sure of when to change that filter. So it's really cool that the app is actually going to notify us when we need to order a replacement. Inside you've also got your power cable. So we're going to go and open that up and we're going to set this up. And I just want to show you what the big filter looks like. So, so there's just a strap on the front there and we're just going to pull that and slide that filter out. Okay, so this is the big HEPA filter that I mentioned before, which is going to be capturing your airborne particles. So when we put that to the side and we have a look inside of our product, that's a really big, clean, clean product clean space. So I would assume that over time, as it captures your airborne particles, you would actually have to clean or maybe even vacuum inside of your air filter as well. So I would probably recommend doing that maybe every six to eight weeks. So you're going to see some holes along each side of the air purifier. And this is where the air purifier is sucking in the air and the pollutants in the air. It will then filter them through the filter and then it will then provide fresh, clean air out through the top. So when you are running your filter, you might feel the cool air at the top here, which might be super useful also in summer to provide a little bit of a fan effect. So I think that not, that might be pretty cool as well. So you could probably have it on the high setting and have a little bit of a fan effect in those warmer months. So you'll see on the display, there's some numbers at the top. So these numbers actually represent the air quality in the room. So 001 is a good air quality. As it starts to get up higher, you'll also notice this green ring might change color and that will tell you the definition of the air quality in your room. So if it gets up to 100, so 100, this ring will change to red, which will be an indication that the air quality of the room that the air purifier is placed in is not sufficient. So it will work as hard as it can to bring that air quality down. So a couple of other features on here, you've got the temperature, the humidity, it's connected to Wi-Fi, and then this 
on this side is the setting that it is on so at the moment it is on automatic mode so automatic mode will increase and decrease with the air quality so at the moment the air quality in this room is low so it's on a low setting if the air quality was high and it was poor it would change to a high setting so when you press this button here which is just touch it will change the setting so this is now night mode which will make it quiet so you can barely hear it and you can barely feel the air so that's quite similar to the low auto mode and then we're going to go to one which is a little bit higher but still quiet you could still have this on and sleep at night but it's definitely got a, a bit more of a breeze in it now now we're going to go to level two so this increases the speed and also increases how loud it is so you can already tell that that is much louder so it's working harder to suck in the air to filter it and to blow it out and that's definitely a lot stronger of air blow at the top there now we're going to take it to the highest setting which is number three and i'm just going to get you to have a listen So that is definitely much louder. I personally don't mind it. I just, it just sounds like white noise to me in the background. And I don't mind having this on in the, in the background. However, if you are trying to watch TV or if you are on the phone or something like that, it might be a little bit too loud. So there are some other air purifiers that might be a little bit quieter on a higher setting. However, for me personally, I quite like this air purifier and I quite like the settings that you can go through. And to turn off, you're just going to long hold. Okay, so I've been using the air purifier for a couple of days now. And my goodness, I must say that it's definitely a good product. So I can just tell that the air is crisper and cleaner and that there's less, less dust particles. Um, especially when you're opening up your curtains or changing your bed sheets and you shake your blanket and in the sunlight you can just see those dust particles i definitely can see that the air purifier is trying to suck them in um, as i mentioned previously when you do have it on that high setting it does have quite a strong fan so it does produce a little bit of a fan effect but for me i personally quite liked it i mean in winter it might be a little bit of an inconvenience because it would be cold but for those colder months, you might want to turn it on that higher setting, maybe when you're not home or when you're not in the room. So the app was quite a cool feature because you could use that to change the settings, but you could also adjust it to have a set timer for when you wanted to have those high and low settings. So when you're sleeping at night, for example, you could set it for your sleep times from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m., and have it on the night mode and then maybe later on in the day when you're not at home when it's not going to be an inconvenience for you maybe between midday and 4 p.m you could have it on a higher setting so that when you come home from work or from school or wherever it is you're coming from that you come into that fresh crisp and clean air if you have this product i'd definitely be interested in hearing your comments and your feedback so please feel free to comment below or if you have another air purifier that you might be using at home i'd also like to hear your thoughts thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe see you again next time